What's going on everybody, Travis Sawinski here from the Itch to Fish and coming at you with a um, pretty quick video. Um, and from this we're gonna branch into going into a little bit more in depth on these three different methods that are gonna help you crush walleye um, in the St. Clair River and even the Detroit River systems um, over in Michigan. Now, um, I'm from Michigan, um, so I have a lot of pride in the area of having the best walleye fishery in the world between uh, St. Clair River, Lake St. Clair, Detroit River and of course the infamous Lake Erie. Um, now I have fished in a lot of places over the world um, for walleye specifically and my favorite hands down is the St. Clair River. Here's why. Um, you're going to get just unbelievable amounts of numbers on an average day um, in the peak of the season. You can go out and you can snag about 20 walleye um, even if you don't really know what you're doing but I'm going to help you here um, to to kind of navigate and, and uh, make you a little bit better of a fisherman hopefully um, and from this too um, I'm going to give you three different methods and this is again this is a lead into a uh, three-part series I'm going to go into a little bit more in depth on all three of these different techniques so I'm not boring you with a 25 minute video that you're going to watch for five minutes and say, uh, Travis, I don't care. So uh, first things first, in the beginning of spring uh, to middle of spring and even in the middle of the summer um, and into fall, you can catch them this way, but pre predominantly you're going to be targeting walleye in early spring. Uh, with the jigging method. Now in the St. Clair River, um, it does start a little bit earlier, uh, or a little bit later, I apologize. Uh, the Detroit River now, um, you can start catching walleyes as soon as ice goes out there um, doing this method um, till about the middle of May, um, then it starts to slow down. But the awesome thing is as soon as the Detroit River slows down, the St. Clair River picks up um, and the water a temperature is increased a little bit so what that does is actually turns these guys on that much more so you're able to catch a lot more numbers um, in the St. Clair River versus the Detroit River which you're gonna catch a little bit less in numbers but you'll pr probably be smoking the the size levels um, putting the St. Clair River to, uh, to shame now I don't want to discredit the St. Clair River because they crush it in numbers of eaters um, anywhere from that 13 to 17 inch range you're going to be catching a lot of those now you will catch a mixed bag here and there of the 20 plus fish but predominantly you're going to be catching that 13 to 17 so anyway um jigging this is my perfect jigging setup here this is a three fourths ounce jig um as well as a four ounce finesse fish by um lunker city now this is typically um you know the go-to this is my favorite color it's my favorite combo in general here i've caught a lot of fish on this between the detroit river and st Clair. um but again we will dive into a little bit deeper onto into why this works uh how to fish it in the next series that i'll, I'll label um st Clair river jigging um so you can you can jump on that so early spring to early to early summer this is going to be your biggest method here of catching and slamming the walleyes. And we'll show you, again, how this works a little bit more in depth on the next video. Um, when we start transitioning into a little bit of early summer to midsummer, um, the best technique are going to be the next two. Uh, one of them you can use all day long from as soon as the sun comes up until the sun goes down. Now when the sun goes down, we have another method that I'm going to talk about here in a little bit. But of course, all of you spinner, all of you walleye fishermen should know that spinning fishing with a bottom bouncer is by far the best way to catch walleye. Why? Because you're making up a lot of ground very quickly and presenting a bait in front of them that they cannot resist. Okay, and you're making up as much ground as you can. Um, easiest method with this, literally in the St. Clair River, I use a two two ounce. Um, some people bump it up to a three ounce, sometimes four ounce. If you're a little bit newer, I would go a little bit heavier um, to start feeling the bottom. And again, I'm gonna dive into this a little deeper too on the next video. But very basically, um, what I'm doing is I'm pointing my boat towards, um, towards the wind. 
So if the if the wind is blowing from the south, my my bow is facing towards the south, and I am all all I'm doing is I'm flowing with the river, the river speed. Um, now if it's a day with literally no wind at all, I might have to kick that trolling motor up a little bit, but really I'm only using the trolling motor if I'm getting a big wind gust, um, letting that river just guide me down the stream. Um, all I'm doing is I'm dropping this baby down to the bottom. As soon as I feel it start kicking. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna set my bail. If I'm using a bait caster, I'm just gonna reel once and let this thing go. Um, I'm telling you, the amount of walleye in that system, you do not have to be an expert fisherman um, to catch fish or even limit out. Um, literally, just dropping down any color, any size down there with a night crawler on it, and I guarantee you that you will catch fish. Um, but very simple, you know, that's scudding along the bottom, and this is ripping by it and spinning all the way with its little worm tickling in the back and while I just cannot resist it so all day long that's what I'm doing um, sometimes this is usually what I like to do early morning I'm jigging as soon as about 8 a.m. hits I turn on those spinners um, I I uh, play around with different colors you know every day is a little bit different um, but again in the St. Clair River you really <laughs> really can catch um, as many fish as you want on any color. Uh, they really don't seem to care. They're just really hungry um, and you burn that thing by them and um, you know everything in their in their senses kicks on um, and then it becomes a competition at that point. So they're all fighting to to snag that bait that goes by. Next and very very important um, this is my evening method. Um, evening to literally midnight on the St. Clair River. This is pretty much the only way when you're in a boat to catch them on the St. Clair River. Now this is a, a tactic that not everybody knows um, and I kind of wanted to be one of the first to kind of make it easy for people. Um, when people talk about it, it gets kind of confusing. Um, they think they need a whole bunch of different line counters and special rods and reels and um, while that will help, um, you don't actually need it. Um, I can go out there with an ultra, ultralight five and a half inch um, pole with a spinning rod and still catch just as many as the next guy who has a professional um, whipping and that's the that's the method here um, professional whipping setup very basically um, of course I don't have my three-way swivel here but if I did it's gonna look a lot like this um, main line is gonna be attached to a three-way swivel um, on that swivel I'll have a six inch to a one foot dropper line to about a one eighth, uh, or I'm sorry, one ounce to three ounce um, dropper weight. It could be, it could be anything. It could be a bullet weight. It could be um, an egg sinker, um, pyramid weight. Really doesn't matter as long as you're getting down to and being able to feel that bottom again. That's the most important part is being able to feel that. Now again, that's going to be um, set up like this. Now on the other way, pointing this way. Some people won't run two, um, but I like to run about just one, honestly. Now your, your hookup percentage might go up if you're running two, but I'm really only running one. Um, I'm running about a six foot leader here. Sometimes you can even bump it up to an eight depending on what depth you're in, but a six foot leader, and I'm attaching that to either one of a F11 Rapala original floater or an HJ10. Rapala Husky Jerk. Now, two best colors that I've seen uh, far and wide outproduce. This is the Vampire color, uh, made by Rapala. Absolutely kills it in the middle of the night, as well as the Perch color. Now, between the two, you're not going to really need anything else, but you can experiment with colors and all you want. But very basically how this is working, um, this weight is, you're going to be letting it down to the bottom. As soon as it hits the bottom, um, you're going to feel it. Your line will obviously start to bow, um, and all you're going to do is whip that rod back. It's, it's quick, too. It's a quick pop. What that does, you're in the river, so remember, there's current. So this thing is floating up slowly but surely, and it gets to that point where it's at the end of the, of the leader there, and it's really just floating about four, four to five feet above the bottom of the um, of the, the floor there. So obviously walleye's feet up um, and in the middle of the night they're they're hunkered on the bottom or they're suspended and they're looking up to try to silhouette a bait out of the moonlight. 
So when you're whipping, this thing is up as high as it can be, and it's going to whip down towards the bottom floor. So the fish might be keying on it, and as soon as that thing whips by them, everything turns on in their body and they kind of crush this thing. So when you feel that whip, a lot of times, you know, when you settle it back down and you whip it again, there's going to be a fish there. Um, far and wide, all the time, this is the only method I'm doing in the middle of the night. It crushes walleye on the St. Clair River. Now, I'm sure you can um, do this elsewhere as well, but on the St. Clair River, for some reason, it's, it's literally the whipping capital of the world. So again, popping it down to the bottom, letting it rip across. Very, very simple stuff. And again, um, I'm gonna make a whipping video as well to kind of go a little bit more in depth of um, you know how this works. And really here at The Itch to Fish, our biggest mission is truly to give you guys the best education out there. Um, there's, there's an old stigma in, in fishing industry and that's we don't wanna give our information away. We don't wanna give our honey holes away. We don't wanna give our hot spots, um, go-to colors, all that. On the opposite, you know, there's tons and tons and tons of fish out there, um, millions of them, especially walleye, um, that are that are able to get. Everybody's able to catch, and everybody should be able to go out there and catch their targeted species. Um, so I'm going to go a little bit more in depth in these three methods in three separate videos. But as far as right now, uh, that is all I got for you. So. Um, tight lines everybody I hope you enjoyed this video um, if you can do me two quick favors uh, that'd be one uh, like this baby and number two hit that subscribe button um, I'm trying to give you guys as much free content as possible but um, you know adding to my subscribers would, uh, would definitely hopefully help you catch more fish so truly appreciate you all um, and I hope you have a blessed rest of your day thanks for watching we'll see you next time